Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. This tutorial is being recorded in Adobe Photoshop CS6. We're going to cover the proportions of the human head for character and object design. So I'm going to show you the uh, overall proportions here of the uh, characters. So we'll start off at the very top and work our way through the entire thing. We start off with a cranial circle. Um, the circle is used because it can be of any size. Next thing you want to do is divide the circle vertically and horizontally in half. Once they've been divided in half, you want to go ahead and further subdivide on a vertical axis uh, into quarters. So I have one quarter, one half, three quarters, four quarters, and then I want you to go down to five quarters. The human head can be thought of as five quarters of a circle. I extend uh, down from the center, down, and then from the bottom of the circle over to create a profile head. This is the chin area. The mid midline here is going to be the brow ridge. This represents the bottom of the chin here. The next uh, thing that we're going to draw is going to be the nose. The nose goes halfway between the brow ridge and the bottom of the chin. So halfway down, right where my cursor is, is that's where the bottom of the nose. Please note that the bottom of the nose does angle upward, and the root of the nose does not uh, start at the brow ridge, but rather further down. This is going to vary depending on the, your character's nose type. So these are the ideal proportions to use for measuring purposes only. The next section is from between the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, divide equally. The first third uh, is going to be the mouth opening. The second third is going to be the chin box. Note that the chin does protrude outward, has an upward facing plane, and then come, recedes back down towards the bottom of the head. The next major section is going to be the top quarter line. So I'll take this quarter line all the way over. That's the hairline. This The hairline travels down and hits the center of the circle. Next is going to be the uh, eye socket. The eye socket does go all the way down to the three-quarter line. It goes back and then angles up halfway in between the half line and the three-quarter line. And also on a horizontal scale, it goes one quarter of the head in. So it creates kind of what I call the sunglass region. It almost looks like sunglasses there. From that, we want to uh, create the side plane of the head. That's the top quarter. It goes all the way down to the sunglass shape, travels downward and forward. And please note, even though it's not indicated, this continues downward to the three-quarter line horizontally here. Working our way down the face, we travel down the eye socket, down the edge of the face, and then curve towards the bottom of the chin. That now separates the side plane of the human head from the front plane of the human head. At the very bottom, we have the uh, recessive plane or the underplane of the chin that is going to show up on your characters as well. And then finally, the ear is located between the brow ridge and the actual bottom of the nose. So extend the bottom of the nose all the way across. And that's the proportions of the human head. Thanks again for watching. This is 5MinuteTutorials.com. And if you like what you see, please share it with someone else.